Are we filming? Yes, we are. Um, I'm going to see if I can get through this without coughing, but if I do cough, I will just edit it and uh, remove the, the cough. So I like, to, I like to do these videos all in one hit, all in a single take, but that may not be possible. But we're going to see. We're gonna see. Uh, welcome to you all from a cold and very rainy UK. It's just been miserable weather doesn't help when you're a little bit poorly but let's see in fact i i bought this i ordered this some time ago so i i cannot remember what's in here so let's see i think there's a few things so first of all um these are interesting these are interesting let's have a look at these now these are advertised as uh for children uh, but I just wanted to, I just wanted to experiment with them to see, because I've got a, I've got a, uh, a pen test coming up, a pen and paper test coming up soon, perhaps several. Um, but I just wanted to see, uh, how they would, uh, how they would do. So, okay, so this is a, a screw thread. Um, but we'll just have to see. That, um, that, uh, that nib looks very, very bent there. I wonder. I wonder whether the other one's the same. Let's try that. So we'll take the wrapper off on this and see. Um, okay, so that's unusual. So they are. They both have a... Let me do that so you can see more clearly. Uh, they both have a bend. Um, so it'd be interesting to see what how these work but they're but they're actually advertised as a sort of pen for school children but i just like the look of them i think they're pretty good and they were sort of fairly cheap as i recall um what else have we got in here okay so why did i buy these because these are shoe cleaning brushes made by cherry blossom which is a well-known make. I mean, I don't know where these are made, probably China these days, but um, uh, they are just basically a pair of traditional shoe cleaning brushes. Uh, one stiff brush, one soft brush. Now, the reason why I bought these was because they were very, very cheap. Uh, I do have a full set of brushes for cleaning and and conditioning leather products but i just thought it would be an interesting exercise to see whether i could achieve the same result with a pair of cheap shoe cleaning brushes like these so these were the cheapest i could find and uh, and i'm going to use these in one or two videos where i clean and condition the leather on some binders uh, but I thought they would be uh, they would be just the job. Let's find out. Uh, what else have we got here? Right, so this is a Parker fountain pen. Uh, I have look at the look at the size of those cartridges. Amazing. Um, I don't know what model this is, but it's a very very uh, basic, cheap, cheap one. The Parker. The Parker Jotter. Well, well, we'll find out because this will be subject to a pen and paper test in due course. But uh, it's another one to add to my collection. Uh, what else? We've we got something else in here. Okay, so we've got a Rodia Unlimited. Uh, this this one, I haven't had one of these before with the uh, with the elasticated loop, but. Um, these ones, as I understand it, you can just, they've got a perforation and you can tear off uh, 80 GSM paper. So probably, uh, probably this, actually, let's let's just see, let's just see uh, how, um, I th I'm not sure whether this was plain or grid or lines. Let's set, oh, I chew my nails so I can't really, um, I have to do this with a knife. I'm making a what they call in the UK a pig's ear of this, aren't I? Um, so let's have a look. The full reveal. Okay, so this is very interesting. 
So it's it's a it looks like a five millimeter grid, but you've also got these lines up here, this lines section for titles. So an interesting one. Uh, are these actually? Is it hard bound or is there a perforation? Yes, there's a. I can see a perforation. So there's definitely, definitely a perforation there. Hard to see in this light, uh, but there's definitely, definitely a perforation. So you can tear these out. But I just thought I would, I mean, obviously I'm a big fan of radio paper. Uh, haven't tried one of these before. Um, I'm not sure whether I like the concept of elastic bands on, on everything. Um, but... It, at the end of the day, this is a this is not something that will last forever. It's just a transit. It's effectively a transit notebook, isn't it? Um, and so it's unlikely that anything here will will last. You're not going to use this to write a journal if it's got perforated pages. Uh, but inevitably, it's worth checking it out. Uh, is that it? Yes, that's it. So so some brushes, some pens, another pen, and. A, uh, another style of Rodia notebook. Okay, so thanks very much for watching, and I'm quite pleased. I only managed to cough once during that video, so very, very pleased with that. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.